So in here in Lawrence, uh, Lawrence's uh, studio down the actual building, we're getting to see one of his traditional art forms and his most recent shaman effort. So Lawrence, I understand that you had some issues uh, a, a week of iterations on this particular painting. I did. It was making me crazy. I spent probably 10 days working on this. So uh, it, it was, I, I became uh, intimately involved, in fact, more, much more intimately involved than I wanted to be. Uh, to begin with, it's uh, unusual in that I paint relatively few uh, profiles of the shamans I do. And I, I don't know why that is. Uh, certainly the ancient Egyptians loved profiles. They liked to uh, portray the human body in the uh, ways that it was most recognizable. So typically uh, you will see in the, uh, uh, in the paintings on the, the walls of the tombs, you will see uh, the people in profile, their faces in profile, but their body is turned toward you, but their feet are also in profile because that's the easiest way to see them. Uh, so anyhow, that's, a, that's an aside. I love uh, not only art, but art history and uh, culture. So I decided to do a profile, and the, the difficult parts of this were uh, no different than they are in any of the other paintings that I do, and that is establishing the appropriate value, uh, color temperature, uh, contrast, and color, and it's, it's, it's like a moving uh, target. Uh, everything you add to the painting cha changes what needs to come next, and everything that you add changes what was already there. And uh, sometimes it's almost, once you are at a place, it's almost impossible to get back there if you uh, are led astray. This one did that in spades, and I kept adjusting uh, to get this bright white up there, contrasting with the dark back here, and you can see perhaps that that's a hand print, uh, uh, very conveniently the same size as my hand. That's how it happened. And then it became a matter of figuring out, after I had nailed the face pretty well, it was trying to figure out uh, what I could do in the background that would help, uh, help the face communicate uh, without detracting from it. And of course, I love color. Uh, and because of the cool colors here, I wanted to contrast that with very warm colors in the background. And I typically work from large to small, as do most artists when they, they lay in the, the shapes initially. Uh, they, they have a big concept. They're trying to be very loose. They work large, and then they come down to small things. And by the end, I was doing very, using a tiny brush to work on uh, this earring. Uh, and that's one of the things about my paintings that I think is so successful, that even at a distance, at a distance you get the feeling that there's more to be seen if you could only get a little closer. So you walk up closer and you see yet more detail that's interesting, and you get closer still until your nose is right up there and you can see everything that's going on. And I really love it when people do that because that's the way I uh, experience the painting myself. So Lawrence, are those discussions about this shaman painting, are those um, uh, ideas that people who own, many of the people who own your shaman paintings or will own them in the future, can they take those ideas and look at these other shaman paintings? Absolutely. I often uh, call this the business I'm about, this business of being a painter. I say the painting is, is like a dance, and you never know what your partner is likely to do. Uh, you, you, you know, you all know what the steps are, and you know where you want to end up, but sometimes uh, it can be difficult to get there uh, with you both standing. Uh, so. I am always, with every painting, those are the basic, the basic uh, things that I'm uh, uh, focusing on and, and trying, to, trying to make just right, to adjust above all else, 
its value. If I can nail the value, the rest of the painting is pretty well going to fall in, in place. And you can see that in every painting I do, whether it's a landscape or a shaman.